here, humbly we sing here, humbly we bless this ground. Join me, friends. Humbly we walk here, humbly we sing here, humbly we bless this second part. Humbly and with gratitude, remembering the ancient ones who walked this ground. Try it. Humbly and with gratitude, remembering, remembering the ancient ones who walked this ground. Try, try it again. Humbly and with gratitude, remembering the ancient ones who walk this ground. I changed the tense, did you notice? Not walked, but who walk this ground. As we acknowledge the presence of First Nations and Indigenous peoples in our midst today. Friends, I'd like to begin by acknowledging the Indigenous peoples of the lands that we are on today. We who gather on this hybrid campus, including those who are connected to classrooms, offices, and the chapel virtually, do so on traditional territory of the Illini, the Osage, the Quapaw, the Sioux, the Tamaroa, and other tribes. For those gathering online, from coast to coast, we acknowledge the ancestral, unceded territory of all indigenous people that call this land home. And if you know the lands that you are on in an online space, you're welcome to put them in the chat and to name aloud in that online space those who are connected to your home and lands. We do this to reaffirm our commitment and responsibility in improving relationships between nations and to improve our own understanding of local indigenous peoples and their cultures. Friends, let's join in a moment of silent reflection to acknowledge the harm, the trauma, the mistakes of the past, and consider how we are and can each in our own way try to move forward in a spirit of reconciliation and collaboration. ground, we walk this land guided by the words of scripture and song. Let's sing together, friends. Lead me, guide me. If you'd like, your body wants to or needs to stand this morning, you are welcome to do that.
join us. Good morning, friends. Good morning. My name is Richard Bruxfort Colligan. I'm visiting uh, Eden and have done this uh, visit for, I don't know, 11 or 12 years, I think, and have been um, so enriched to be among y'all. Uh, I come from a little town called Strawberry Point, Iowa. It's about as charming as you believe it is from that name. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and we've had a wonderful week. Uh, thanks to those of you who participated in the Psalms Festival um, this past Sunday. Today, wherever you're at, whatever is swirling in your life, whatever is settled in your life, wherever your mind has been, wherever your heart has been, you are welcome here. I want to invite you to, with your hands, with your legs, just sort of give your body a little love, whatever would feel good to you, to remind yourself you are you are right here. You are right here in the heart of God. And as a deep breath, or as an amen, let's have a, a deep breath. Thank you. I want to invite us this morning to immerse a bit in Psalm 25. Now, some of you know this by heart, probably. Some of you have preached on it. Some of you have, uh, have it memorized for ages and have preached it. <laughs> uh, it's deep in you. And for some of us, it might be the first time we sort of paid attention to this. I wonder if there's something fresh for us either way here. Would you give your attention to Psalm 25? To you, Holy One, I lift up my soul. My God, I put my trust in we're, you. We're not hearing you, Gail. One moment. We're gonna, we've got a little tech challenge here. We're going to find our way towards. Go ahead, Gail. To you, Holy One, I lift up my soul. My God, I put my trust in you. Let me not be humiliated nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. Let the treacherous be disappointed in their schemes. Show me your ways, Holy One. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. In you have I trust trusted in all the day long. Remember, Holy One, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my transgressions. Remember me according to your love and for the sake of your goodness. Gracious and upright are you, O Holy One. 
Therefore, you teach sinners in your way. You guide the humble in doing right and teach your way to the lowly. O oh Lord, all your paths are love and faithfulness to those who keep your covenant and your testimonies. Holy wisdom, holy word, we respond. Thanks be to God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank you, readers. First thing, I wonder, all of you online and all of you in the room, is there anything that really struck you today? What phrases, what words may have jumped out at you? I can invite us to put the, uh, the chat box up. And if you feel like participating by sharing something, it would be for the good of this whole community. Feel free to type in maybe what struck you this morning, or you can raise your hand and unmute to share whatever has been stirring you. Remember not the sins of my youth. Thank you. Interesting that in this psalm, did you notice? We're asking God to remember. Remember, Holy One, your compassion and love. They've been around forever. Please, like, stick with that. Like, don't forget that. On the other hand, if you could forget a few things. Ah, uh, is that, that's sort of funny, I think. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever felt like, uh, oh, there's some things I've done I wish... I wish I, I wish I could just, just um, eternal, eternal sunshine of the spotless mind it away and just, just not have that have, that have been, been ever. ever. <sighs> part of forgiveness, part maybe, maybe, and part, part of, of uh, that, that for ourselves, for ourselves and, and for others. others. Remember, Remember not, not the sins of my youth. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you for bringing that out. Let none be put to shame. Thank you. In our culture, is there not uh, just waves of, of shame um, from those of us that sometimes feel the need to have power and um, point our fingers and such? Oh, yeah, there's something about that. Let this be a world, maybe, where that doesn't happen, or God make facilitate my life so that I learn maybe not to do that? I guess I've never thought about it that way. Oh, lead me, teach me. Oh. <laughs> Is anybody else here uh, with the prayer in their minds? Lead me, show me, guide me. Oh, God, please. That's a great prayer, by the way. Oh, my God. Does the, um, I'm trying to bring that prayer back. Let's take it away from the sitcoms. Um, in any moment at all, in joy, in lament, oh, my God. As if to acknowledge our need for help, as if to acknowledge what is celebrated is celebrated in the, in the whole of God's universe. Thank you for bringing that out. Hmm, a memory of uh, someone's mother singing this psalm. Hmm. Especially to let none be made ashamed of the weight on you. Yeah, I wonder what that melody was, was like. Holy and patient. Oh, gracious, holy and gracious. Don't we always need to be reminded of God's grace? Holy grace for each of us. Thank you for the whole world. Especially when we might not be feeling all that gracious with ourselves and our uh, beloveds around us. Anything else that's popping for y'all? Amen. Thank you, Clint. That the psalm before this talks about going to God's physical temple to worship. And maybe after the temple is not 
there and in our lives when we're in the grocery store or walking down the sidewalk? How do we encounter God's holy and gracious presence? How do we find ourselves led and guided and shown? Maybe it's with this first line, to you, O Holy One, I lift up my soul. The word in Hebrew there, let's, let's learn a Hebrew word, nefesh. Let me hear you say nefesh. Yeah, it means uh, not, I mean, we sort of think about soul maybe as a sort of a compartment of our life. Like maybe you've got this spiritual part of life and my body part and my family life. And I don't know. This is more like, no, nefesh is your, your whole life. It has connotations of, of the neck, like as if to say, wow, she really saved my neck. This is, I'm, I'm giving my whole life. And there's lots at stake. Where? Well, to you, holy one. And oh my God, I put my trust in you. I want to move us into a little song that might help condense this um, into a melody and into something your body might want to do. All right? Um, if I invite you to think about lifting up your soul, lifting up your life, opening your life bare to the Holy One, what does that, what does that seem, seem like, like to you? What, what is going, going on right now? What choices, choices do you have to make that, that are difficult? What relationships, what relationships are being stirred in these days? days? What, what struggles, what joys are pent up, up that need some, some sort of release, release or expression or embodiment? Or embodiment. Lift, Lift up my life. This little, this little song, song is, is called, called To You. And I'm going to sing it for you and invite you to sing along with me. Please do that at home if you like. Do that in this room. If you feel like listening and that's the best way for you, that's great too. like this. To you, I lift up my soul. To you, I open my life. I give my trust. I give my hope to you. Listen again. To you, I lift up my soul. To you, I open my life. I give my trust, I give my hope to you. Try that with me, would you? To you, I lift up my soul to you. I open my life, I give my trust, I give my hope to you. Yeah, good. I've got a verse here. Teach me the way of holiness. My eyes are ever on you. Teach me the way of honesty. My eyes are ever on you. To you I lift up my soul. To you I lift up my soul. To you. I open my life, I give my trust, I give my hope to you. Show me the way of holiness, my eyes are ever on you. Teach me the way of holiness, yes. my eyes are ever on you. To you, I lift up my soul to you. I open my life, I give my trust, I give my hope to you. Sing to you, to you. Thanks for singing with me. Invite us to a moment of prayer together.
God, we thank you for space in which to be in your presence, to open heart wide to the ways that you are and will and can lead and guide us. Bring you the places of unknown, the paths that are not yet revealed. Bring you places of confusion and of challenge. We know know that, that God, God, you you promise that you will be with us, us, you will stay stay with us, us, that you will guide and direct us in all our our ways. So we lean in to you. We open our eyes, our hearts, our minds. We seek your guidance for our lives. Mend all that needs mending. Comfort all that needs comforting. Be with us, God. In every place and in every part of our life, we pray. Amen. Oh, Ooh, that isn't happened for a while. Oh, my. Uh, let's close with another piece. This song is called Keep My Steps Steady, or Keep Our Steps Steady. (laughs) Keep a guitar strap steady. (laughs) This is from Psalm 119, uh, a part of it. And uh, I want to teach you the refrain. It goes like this. Keep our steps steady in your promise on the path. Keep our steps steady in your promise on the path. Just like that. Try it with me. Keep our steps steady in your promise on the path. Keep our steps steady in your promise on the path, whatever your path looks like. Um, and I want to invite you to think about what your body wants to do with this. If you like to stand up, you can do that. If you like to remain seated, um, maybe tap your, your knees. A prayer for steadiness. Try that again with me. Keep our steps steady in your promise on the path. Keep our steps steady in your promise. Good. All of me is devoted head to toe to your words unfolding light. All of us are heart open, simple things for your people, simple minds. One, two, three. Here we go. Keep our steps steady in your promise on the path. Keep our steps steady in your promise on the path. But our strength has been failing, looking in, looking out from streams of tears. All of us are awaiting golden light. From your face to end our fears. Let's go. Keep our steps steady in your promise on the path. Keep our steps steady in their promise on the path. Yeah, keep our steps steady in your promise on the path. Keep our steps steady in your promise on the path if you like try verse three with me here holy one we long for you rescue us may no sin disrupt our pace turn to us and have mercy guide our feet help your people walk your way 
our steps steady in your promise on the path keep our steps steady in your promise one more time keep our steps steady in your promise on the path keep our steps steady in your promise on the path are there announcements we have a microphone up at the front friends are there any announcements for the good of the community i know dr grundy this has this has been often i know your vocation <laughs> a vocation of announcements i want to offer a, a specific gratitude to clint and to those who were involved in and richard for who were involved in the psalm festival this past week to have uh, the gift of companionship and friendship of another creative musician's soul here on the campus of eden is a gift and thank you richard for your time with us this morning i feel less crazy when i see other people who share their gifts in similar ways. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense to any of you, but we're not, we're not the only ones wandering around this world in love with the Psalms and what they offer. Friends, are there any other announcements online or in person? Yeah, we got a microphone to, get around, to hand around. I, I just want to say thanks to uh, Richard has been here for several days uh, as our artist in residence, we call him, uh, taking primary uh, responsibility uh, and leadership along with Paul uh, for the Psalms Festival. So Richard, thank you. Travel safely tomorrow. Uh, and Paul, thank you again uh, for all your work and in initiating the Calvin Institute for Worship grant that will keep the Psalms in front of us. Uh, not just for the next few days, but for the next few months and into the spring semester even, I think. So thank you very much. Uh, I'm another Psalms, uh, Psalms geek, my wife calls me. So, uh, I, don't, so I, don't, I don't like to think of it that way. Uh, Psalms devotee, maybe. Yes. Uh, so at any rate, thank you, Richard, and thank you, Paul. And thanks uh, to the others of you who participated uh, in the Psalms Festival. If you haven't seen it, it's posted, right, Paul? It's online. Uh, so, yeah, it's if you Facebook missed it, page. you missed a lot. So go back and, and uh, uh, see what we uh, experienced together. It was it's really uh, fantastic, as always, in this, the 10th annual uh, Eden Festival of Psalms. Thank you. Yeah. I think with no further announcements about upcoming things, Chapel Chat is today at 1215. You can find the link on Brightspace and Friends. We've had a lot of walking a lot of journeying in chapel this last week. Come talk about that with your peers and uh, let's notice what we noticed together and share in that space. How about a benediction? Receive these good words for you. Grace, peace, and justice are in and about you. In the proper time, in the resonant moment, lift up your hearts and open your life. In the name of the one who holds us and walks with us, the people together say,